place matter is because we're talking here about the he's seen in a Capernaum and the Lord being there and there was a whole uh, moment when we uh, go to the house of Simon and Andrew and so on and uh, mother-in-law gets healed and then he continues to to heal and so on. So actually that's, that's a spot there. You can see it from the air and uh, Tommy was with us mm -hmm. on the Sabbath trip. trip. Uh, and then you can see it there with the other side as well. You can see that uh, the spot. And they built a church right over it. And, you can, and that's where they went off and they didn't come back and all that. Yeah. The thing I remember the most from when I went yeah. was the, the room behind the synagogue, the two places are, are there. Um, the one behind it that was like the religious education place. And that's where they had carved in the floor games for children to play. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, so, in that we can see the synagogue also, where Jesus passed out the devil there, and so on. So, he, he can see the whole area there. Mm -hmm. You can see the water, the, the lake, or the sea, or the valley. Yeah. So, and the other side is the same uh, overview of the truth of the same. So, <laughs> But the building with the red domes is the uh, Mount of the Beatitudes, is it? No, it's another... Uh, no, it's a different one. Okay. It's another one within the property, and we never see it, or it's... Uh, I, I think it's Orthodox or something. Oh, okay. So you don't get to see it. And then also, in their buildings, they don't allow us, only their own Orthodox people, and they don't have it open only for their own occasions. But we, on the contrary, have all open all the time for everybody. So, uh, so here we uh, have here about uh, Jesus uh, doing his ministry immediately, um, and uh, in that ministry, which uh, here Saint uh, Saint Paul, or the, the author of Hebrews, uh, is a main a deep reflection on the incarnation that uh, that uh, the Lord Jesus like was shared in flesh and blood in our human condition. That, uh, that through death he might destroy the one who had the power of that, that is the devil. So, in other words, to enter from within the very nature of humanity and destroy the, uh, not only that, but the devil. And so, and free those who were for, through fear of death, have been subject to slavery all their life. So, I remember uh, seeing a little Um, to call a headline, there is this uh, uh, never negotiate out of fear, but never fear to negotiate. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I was thinking of the, the whole question of fear in our uh, ear that uh, the, the Lord, the incarnation, is enters without any fear, enters into the very flesh and blood in order to destroy the power of death from within. So, what are powerful reflections here? And then also, uh, to, uh, to, end, uh, to be on the receiving end of the merciful and faithful, merciful Father from the receiving end as well. So you could see things from our perspective. Como dice Cantinflas, como lo ves desde ahí. Actually, there's a good... Uh, that the most uh, how you call it, incarnational a view of, of humanity. Como lo ves desde ahí. So he's, he, he's got a, a deep, profound uh, understanding of como lo ves desde ahí. So, uh, I think, yeah. so Jesus already entering from within our humanity. And so uh, St. Paul, or the, letter, the, the author of the letter to the Hebrews, is already reflecting on such a powerful, uh, uh, such a powerful event that has so sort of filled with mystery. And so, when I, when I would, whenever we hear the song, and I will repeat the song. The Lord remembered His covenant forever. It's not only that the Lord remembered His covenant forever. Jesus, from this point of view, remembers that covenant forever. So let us then continue with our with the Eucharist, remembering this covenant that this has it and gives love for all for all of us. And the Lord continues his ministry for
Christ, making us understand the incarnation.